How important was it to give a female voice back to Penelope? Um, there is an argument that has been made um, quite thoroughly that, that, that the Iliad and the Odyssey were written by two different uh, people and that the person who wrote the Odyssey was a woman. Um, you can find that, that argument. I think a couple of people have made it. Uh, it is noteworthy that, that the people who help Odysseus in the Odyssey are pretty much all female. So they are given quite large parts in that story. Penelope herself um, is written about in the third person, but Odysseus is written about in the third person as well, except for the part where he's telling the story of his adventures. The one-eyed monster, the uh, eating of Apollo's cattle, and all, all those adventures of Odysseus are in a story that Odysseus himself is telling at the court of, of Nausicaa, who picks him up on the beach. And when she picks him up on the beach, here he is, he's got no clothes, nobody knows who he is, he's a sort of weather-beaten stranger. She takes his part and she says to him, I'm going to take you to the court, don't bother with my father. <laughs> Go to my mother, clasp her knees, she'll help you out. And that is how it goes. But in turn for helping him out, they ask to hear the story of his adventures, and he tells this amazing yarn. Now keep in mind that he is a noteworthy liar. <laughs> Whether you believe all of that about the one-eyed monster, it is in question. But the rest of the time he is written about in the third person, and he doesn't always behave well. So I'm not sure that it's a, it's not a male voice in terms of, of a voice that says, male people behave well, female people behave badly. It's not that at all. It's, a, it's certainly a voice that, that says um, various genders don't always behave well.